Instagram, can anyone tell me what day of the week it is? I believe it's Thursday. Final answer, Thursday. But I hope everyone is doing well. Again, what day is it? Why can't I wrap my head around that? My name is Laura Lee. I am here to host you guys on a quick, fun power hour from New York City. So it's going to be short, sweet. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. Lots of deals to be had. I picked some of my favorite pieces. Um, this little Nano Speedy I've shown before, but there has been a price slash to it. So she's back with a vengeance and someone has to pick her up. So I'm going to go over our housekeeping rules. I believe Kristen is our moderator today. So let me see. Kristen, if you're here, let me know, queen. And let me know who else is in the house, you guys. Where are you tuning in from? And also, how are you doing? So first and foremost, since we are in New York City, all of the items purchased in today's live will ship out tomorrow, possibly today, but I'm gonna say 100% tomorrow morning out of New York City. So this is good for my USA customers. If you're based in the States, shipping is gonna be ultra mega fast for you guys. Um, again, if you are a domestic customer here in America, then shipping will be 15 pounds. If you are international, it will be a 35 pound charge, but your customs and duties will be covered if you do a purchase during the duration of the show. We accept all major, hi Jazz. Happy Thursday, is it Thursday? V and Jazz, what day is it? I cannot, I don't know what day it is. Hello, Pamela, I was born in Nashville, fun fact. Didn't live there for very long, but I was born there. <laughs> Okay, so we accept all major forms of payment, credit cards, debit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, which usually helps you check out the fastest, pro tip. Um, and Thursday, thank you, Queen. I appreciate that. It was driving me crazy. Um, you guys, upon checkout as well, you do have the option to use Split It. With Split It, you can break up your purchase over the span of up to four months with no additional fees or interest or anything like that. It's just for the amount of the item, but split up. And if at any point you would like to fully pay off the item, you're just done and good to go, then you can do so. So I'm going to see, I'm going to message Kristen real quick. Um she's our moderator so bear with me guys um, do, do, do. okay so we'll figure out who is moderating momentarily you guys in the meantime I'm gonna give you a quick preview of what is available in the show. So we do have a Sprouse Key Ball. I have some amazing jewelry pieces from David Yerman, Chanel. We have Tiffany & Co, Private Jewelers, Dior, Louis Vuitton, lots of goodies. And then we also have Louis Vuitton bags, Saint Laurent bags, a Dior book tote, Celine for a really great price. So lots of goodies to be had. I am just waiting for confirmation for who will be moderating little old me. So we will see you guys. Wendy, how are you? Happy. <laughs> Glad you're happy. I think you meant happy Thursday. But happy Thursday, Queen. I hope you are doing well. You guys, it's been a week. It is cold again in New York City. Hence my giant sweater that belongs to my fiance. But it is so cold. Even in this office, it is very, very cold. So we're not, it's not cute. <laughs> Okay, so we'll see. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Looking forward to May. It's my birthday month. I'm going on a fun trip. And also, it's just my favorite month in general. I'm such a spring girl. Spring has my whole heart, you guys. So, love spring. But let's see. <laughs> I am modless. This is so sad. Should I attempt to moderate myself, you guys? Let's figure it out. Okay, I think Kristen will be here momentarily. So bear with us. Apologies again, you guys. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. Happy Thursday, Queen. How are you? Thank you for joining. Just waiting to get Kristen in here. Oh, my hair is not hairing today. It's like very moist outside and my hair hates that. Hello, Kat. Happy Thursday. Good morning. I always say good morning until like 1 p.m. I know some people are like, oh, it's the afternoon. It's a morning, let's be real. <laughs> so, Jazz, oh my gosh, that's cold for California. 
Yay, okay, we got Kristen in the house, but that is very cold for California. As a California girl, that is not okay. So we are ready to get started now, you guys. Kristen is gonna recap our house info on how things work. And as I show items, they will become, let's see. <laughs> They will become pinned right over here so you can click on them to view additional images and the description details Obviously, I will be showing the items myself, but it is a good way to get a second look at items. Hello, Barbara oh, Lucky you lucky duck a hailstorm. What is going on? So cold. Okay, let's just jump right into it. You guys I am going to start Where should I start? Let's start with this ring. I think this ring is stunning. So Kristen, apologies, we just threw you in here, but our first SKU is gonna be 111688. You might have seen this piece on my preview, but this is a custom jewelry piece from a private jeweler we work with here in New York City. So it's brandless, it's one of a kind, it is stunning. But this is our 18 karat yellow gold geometric pattern diamond band. It is 6.33 millimeters wide and it features a total carat weight of 891 diamonds. So we have clear tone colors of diamonds and excellent clarity, but we also have purposeful yellow micropave diamonds scattered in, but it has this, I'm gonna try to angle this so you guys get that natural light. It has this beautiful, almost stacked look. So it looks like a double band with diamonds fully, fully, fully all over it. I'm gonna guess that this is a US size seven ring, possibly a seven and a half. It feels quite large on my finger. So once this is pinned, Kristen, let me know if it has the size in the description. So stunning though. I love these pieces. They're totally unique. No one else will have them. It's a great way to get some diamonds in your life without breaking the bank. This will have a fantastic price point for you guys, just FYI. Size six, perfect. I guess I just have tiny fingers. <laughs> so it's a US size six, which for me is a little big on my right hand finger. Let's see. Not me getting it stuck on my pointer finger. Almost free. There we go. <laughs> I'm free, so it'll stay on this finger. But US size six is our size here. Let's see what it would look like stacked with my engagement ring. <gasps> That's a pretty stack. You guys, the stack. Stunning. Like it is quite a wider band, so it gives a really pretty effect if you do choose to stack it with another ring. Stunning. What is that noise? Oh my gosh, I cannot escape the weird noises in this room. I apologize. <laughs> you guys were at my last power hour, the fire alarm started acting like making alien noises. It was a mess, but this item has just been pinned, so we will reveal that price for you guys here in just one moment, and then we're gonna keep moving. All right, so this is just 695 pounds, which is 866 USD. Honestly, a fantastic price. Granted that you almost have a total full carat of diamonds here. Literally, the diamonds are all over the band. There's no spot without diamonds. It is doubled up and a mixture of diamonds of a different color all the way to that beautiful yellow diamond. So if you guys have any additional um, questions about this one, please, please, please let me know. But I think this is a fantastic deal given the quality craftsmanship and just how beautiful it is. Like fully, I would expect this to be around the 1500 USD mark. So the fact that we're well below a thousand is absolutely incredible for this ring. All right, so let's keep it going guys. But that was our first item. Do, 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 do. Let's do our first bag of next. Okay. Cutie cutie, little shoulder bag moment coming at you. So up next we are going to do 123204 and this is the Louis Vuitton Damier Bean Recoletta shoulder bag. I know it's size six for any of my size six ring queens snatch that up it's such a good price for a ring okay i love this i think this is the perfect casual cute girly little shoulder bag moment from louis vuitton especially in the dummy i mean i feel like we don't see just as many just basic safe everyday shoulder bags in this colorway they don't pop up that often 
So we really love this. Again, this is called the Recoletta. So it's kind of a single flop vibe. You have the Damier Bin canvas all over with that little orange peeking out, very iconic. It is a structured shoulder bag, so when you hold it, it's always gonna keep its shape, really beautiful. The strap is one length, but I find that this is a universally good shoulder length size. It's done in a smooth brown leather, really good condition. The exterior condition of this bag is definitely fantastic. There's no corner wear. Inside will have a couple of signs of being pre-loved, but that is reflected in the price, spoiler alert. So let me open this up for you guys. So as mentioned, the interior is done in that orange suede. It is a magnetic button snap closure for this top flap, but as we can see on the top flap, there is some discoloration, some signs of wear happening. Again, this is reflected in the price, but to me, I wouldn't mind it because the exterior of the bag looks so fantastic and feels so crispy. I never really mind the interior having signs of wear, and in this case, it really is only on the flap. The rest of the interior of the bag is nice and clean, done in that orange, and you have one inner pocket as well here. So we will get this price up and reveal momentarily for you guys. It's the Regaletta. Let me see if I can see the date code on this. It might be hard because I know it's going to be in the suede. And if you know, you know, it can be so hard to read those date codes. Actually, this one is easy. So this is from 2005. Again, take that into consideration. When we look at the wear, really the wear is just here. She's from 2005, so granted her age, I think it's amazing that the rest of the bag looks as good as it does. And this is gonna be under 1,000 USD, so the price here is 750 pounds, which is 935 USD for the Damier Bin Recoletta. It'll be pinned momentarily, but I love this. It's a great price for a shoulder bag that truly is so, so easy to style, so functional, but so like chic and dainty at the same time. All right, so if there's any questions on her, let me know. Well, let's keep moving. I do have some great Saint Laurent pieces today, you guys, but we will get there. So let's do another jewelry piece up next. We are going to do UKC1065. And this is our Dior gold crystal necklace. This is gonna be at a fantastic price, you guys. I love this one. It features little pave stones around the CC. I'm gonna flip my camera so you can get better. All right, here she comes. So we have a nice kind of flat, tightly linked gold chain here. And then the pendant itself features those pave stones with CD for Christian Dior in the middle. Super dainty and elegant. I love the variation that does have the stones. I definitely think it's my favorite. And this does have an adjustable clasp by about three inches. And at the end of the clasp, you have another CD for Christian Dior here. Super cute. Again, I would absolutely wear this stacked with like an, one or two other necklaces. I love the look of three necklaces stacked together. So this could be your good middle length in a stack it would be here do a longer one and then more of a choker super super pretty i will measure this for you guys if i can unclasp it let's see do, 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 do. okay i did it proud of myself so i'm just gonna put this flat on the table that's next to me and measure it real quick for you guys sorry there we go handy dandy pink measuring tape so at its shortest, it would measure 15 inches and at its longest, 18. So 15 to 18 inch total for the chain. And I think we are ready to reveal the price. Oh, it's already up. So again, a fantastic price for this piece, especially with the rhinestones. This is available for 330 pounds, which is 411 USD. Thank you, Fani. I appreciate it. So if there's any questions on this one, let me know. I think this is a great choice. I personally would absolutely buy this at this price. I love mixing and matching like two unbranded necklaces and just having one designer piece in the center. So it's not 
branding overload, but I do like that the CD on this necklace is a bit more subtle. It's kind of, if you know, you know, it's not a loud and proud branding, if that makes sense. All right, so let's keep it up, you guys. Let me know, do you wanna do a wallet, a bag, or more jewelry next? What are you guys in the mood to shop for today? I would love to know. Sorry, my laptop just went out on me. Okay, so I'm gonna get this back in its bag. The book toe is so good, maybe we go there next. It's definitely my favorite book toe I've ever come across easily. Okay, let's go there next. Little fun spring moment. I believe this is a circa 2021 limited run piece for the book coat. Um, and it's in the size medium. It will come with its dust bag as well as its receipt. You guys know me, you know I love nature, you know I love bugs, and you know I love the color pink. So this book coat fully has my heart, you guys. So in the middle, we have the nice kind of bubblegum pink tone stripe with the black Christian Dior Paris. And then framing that, you have gold, metallic thread mixed with the black lots of pops of gold on this piece and then surrounding it you have this gorgeous kind of almost realistic take on butterflies moths and florals this moth down here actually does look like an atlas moth to me which is the moth on my arm so like look at this moth and then tell me it's literally not that moth <laughs> so i'll give you guys a 360 here this is perfect for the spring season. I can't think of a more perfect spring tote. Here's the bottom, even the bottom, just the attention to detail on this specific piece is so beyond me. Like it's my favorite one I've ever, ever seen. Right, Kristen? It's too good. Condition is a solid nine out of 10. Um, black, or sorry, pink and brown is an underrated color combo in my opinion. So I really love this with the outfit I have on today. It does, if I wasn't wearing a chunky sweater, it does comfortably fit on the shoulder as well. And then, handles too, you have little dainty butterflies popping out at you. You have the giant original Dior dust bag with this piece. And the original retail tag on that dust bag. And the interior here has literally no signs of wear. This is like 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition level. The inner Dior logo is then pink leather. I love this. <laughs> so it has just been pinned and we will get that price reveal for you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this though. Would you rock something like this? Is it a bit too out there for you? Let me know, cause I am obsessed. All right, so this is available for 2,970 pounds, which is 3,704 USD. And surely, of course, we can go there next for you. All right, if there's any other questions on the book tote, let me know. Maybe my favorite piece today. Actually, probably definitely my favorite piece today. So special. All right. Let's keep it up. We're going to do the sprouts. Keep all up next. Okay. So moving on over to UKL 1091. This is the Stephen Sprouse keep all in a size 50 done in the gray graffiti. What was that? Gray graffiti. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> Gray graffiti print from Steven Sprouse. Highly, highly coveted piece. This is one of the most popular colors from the graffiti line. I think this is the best, like, safe choice to go for. Obviously, there's a lot of orange, neon pink, other crazy colors. But for my neutral queen, someone that doesn't want something necessarily neon, you still get that cool, iconic Sprouse look. 
without it being overly flashy or hard to style. This is my personal favorite size of a heat ball. I think it's not too big, it's not too small. It is just right. It is able to be brought on a plane as a carry-on. It does not exceed the size like a keyball 60 would. And in this case, this is a fantastic condition level for this key ball, considering it was a limited edition piece. No longer can buy this new. We do have a watermark on the bottom here, but the leather overall looks to be a nice light even tone. Show you the handles. There's one little mark right here, super minor, but the handles are still hydrated and you could easily clean that off, I think. All the gold hardware on this is mega shiny. We have no tarnish to the hardware. This side tab fully intact with the Louis Vuitton logo embossed into the leather. And this side is also fully intact. So let's dive inside. Ooh, nice crispy zip pull on this, I will say. And then the interior is actually spotless on this. Like, wow, this is from 2001. So this is a 22-year-old bag, which is insane to me. There is no marks and no smell to the interior. It is all brown canvas. This is absolutely a collector's piece, again, from 2001. It's super hard to come across these in a good condition level. Yeah, super, super rare. The price is fantastic. Show you those corners again. The piping looks fully intact, which is nice. Yeah, so I would give this probably overall like an 8.9 out of 10 condition level, considering the rarity, how not often these pop up on the market in this type of condition level. She's not perfect, but she's pretty darn good for a bag from 2001, you guys. And again, this does sell for a premium. It's a collector's piece, hard to come by, as I was saying. So it is available for 4,295 pounds, which is 5,357 USD. This would be a great candidate to consider using Split It On. When you check out, just break up that payment over 12 months, invest in this piece, hold on to it, and definitely like five, 10 years down the line, just flip this bad boy. These will just continue to sell at a higher and higher premium with each passing year. So it's a true, true investor's piece. Could not agree more, Shirley. It's absolutely gorgeous, super special. All right, keep us moving. Let's do a little deal moment. Up next, we have one of my favorite, favorite silhouettes of Louis Vuitton Epi leather bags. So this is going to be 118238 and this is the black epi saint jacques tote this is the pm size again as i said this is definitely one of my favorite silhouettes of epi bags it's so unique it is highly functional and comfortable to carry but i just love 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 the look of it especially in black epi leather so here she is epi is louis vuitton's most durable long lasting leather it really does a good job of masking any wear that may happen to the bag but in this bag's case the wear is very minimal there's a little bit of color transfer of white on the bottom here this would be a super easy fix hit it with some wipes see if you can get it off and if not you can camouflage it with black leather polish super easily so i wouldn't be too concerned about the white on the bottom it seems like maybe it was just put down on some paint and rubbed onto it so easy fix there the smooth black leather lining at the bottom though is really immaculate. One tiny, tiny minuscule mark here, but the rest is really good. Oh, Alana, I can do that next. The price is insane. It's so good. The handles of this bag are done in a black smooth leather with a nice long drop link, so it's super comfortable to carry and there is absolutely no signs of wear to these handles. The date code lives on the end of the zipper of this bag. And in this case, this is from 2004. So another early 2000s piece from Louis Vuitton. I think the PM is the perfect size for the St. Jacques, so it does come in a GM. But I find that one to be a little bit too big for daily wear, where this one absolutely could be worn daily. We do have the LV monogram in the corner here. So let's dive inside. And this is crazy to me. I have sold this bag many a time in my career, but somehow, it's so good. 
somehow you guys i've never sold one that has its original dust bag so super rare opportunity today this one will come with its original louis vuitton dust bag and then the interior of this is done in the gray suede super clean no smell happening one inner pocket and one leather lined inner pocket not peeling at all no damage this is in a fantastic condition. Again, I'm gonna go with an 8.9 out of this, or 8.9 out of 10 for this. It's not perfect, perfect, but it is from the early 2000s and looks really, really, really good. So the price is fantastic. This is a great entry level bag, giftable bag. This is just 535 pounds, which is 667 USD for our St. Jacques PM Black Abbey Leather from Louis Vuitton with a dust bag. All right, keep us moving. We had a request for that amazing bucket bag up next, so I'll go there. And let's do it. Okay, so next, I'm excited about this one. So we are going to do 122793, and this is going to be our Celine Tri-Color Smooth Cowskin Twisted Kabas Tote. This is going to be a fantastic price for a large multicolor cowskin leather piece from Celine. Like, look at this. I've never seen this bag before. It's my first time. So chic to throw on. I love the thick red leather strap and the cream in the black with the knot tie detail for the strap so cool so this features a celine logo done in silver front and center there is a little bit of like creasing happening to the leather so it's more of a 7 out of 10 condition level but that has spoiler alert been reflected in the price give you a 360 the strap is in fantastic condition back looks good just a little bit of discoloration to the calfskin, but then the bottom portion is done in black, which looks beautiful. Okay, show you the bottom. You have that classic sling kind of envelope style stitching that I love. Just a great extra little attention to detail on the construction of these Celine pieces. Corners have very minor rub to the leather, like super, super, super minor. Okay, so let's dive inside of this one. Ooh, uh, added bonus. This comes with a, um, yes, this is removable Celine pouch. Oh my gosh, actually this can totally be a two in one. For this price, this is way worth it, let me just tell you. So you can remove the pouch, which is cream on one side, it says Celine, and the back is black, but this does allow you to attach the strap to the zip pull. And then two for one moment, you have a cute, tiny little bag in addition to your big bucket bag. Or you can loop it around, carry it as a wristlet or use it separately, but this does come with. It also comes with its Celine dust bag. Open it up. And then we have a black, kind of feels like felt interior which is great because it's going to mask any signs of wear or stains or anything no smell in here as well and the inner part of the strap is brown leather so technically four colors of leather on this bag i think this is great the price is fantastic this is 595 pounds which is 742 usd and again you can use the pouch separately you guys so kind of a two for one deal here if you will i will show you the inside of the pouch as well isn't it super cute tosh i think this is a great opportunity for somebody cream leather interior love this love this a lot you could even like loop this around the strap and just have it attached to the exterior lots of ways to play around with the styling on this piece okay so it's up you guys let me know if there's any questions i am going to stuff this back up and keep us Moving through the show.
beautiful. Do we want to do another bag next or it's more jewelry, you guys? All right, let's look at her and just going back on the shelf. This is gonna be 129315. This might be my favorite jewelry piece of the day. Tosh wants a bag, got you. Gonna do this real quick and then we're gonna get into a bag. But this is our 18 karat rose gold Tiffany Co. Elsa Peretti diamond by the yard ring with 0 0.07 total carat weight. It will come with its box and its service paper, so it can be giftable. But this is my favorite, favorite kind of style of jewelry. So I'm gonna put it on and show you guys, Kristen. Okay, the girls want some bags today, so we'll go back to bags after this. Yeah, Kristen, if you can let me know what the size for this is listed in the description, because I feel like maybe it could be a US six or seven. So let me try another finger to properly show you guys. Curse my tiny, silly little fingers. They can be a nuisance sometimes. 8.25, thank you, thank you. So a larger size, which is good. Put it on my pointer finger. There we go. But this ring, here it is, half on my pointer finger. But let's camera. So we have a rose gold chain length band for the ring. Nice and light, so comfortable on. It's super lightweight. And then in the center here, we do have that diamond. Again, this is 0 0.07 total carat weight for this diamond. In the middle, designed by Elsa Peretti for Tiffany & Co. Isn't it so pretty? Sorry, my finger. I have like no good finger to work with this size on. And also I only have two nails that don't have 3D art because I literally can't get it over these little guys. <laughs> so we're just gonna imagine it properly on a finger. You could stack this so, so pretty though. So definitely I encourage you guys to click on the image, uh, the pin over here to see additional details, closer up images, all the detail for this. Kristen has posted it as well, but this is such a good price for this piece. This is 640 pounds, which is 798 USD in a US size 8.25. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna pivot back into bags as per popular request, but I love this ring. Also, I really, really, truly have converted to be a rose gold girly. I'm loving it so much. Okay, bag time. Let's do our first YSL bag. I did preview this one yesterday. So, this is stunning. I have some really great YSL options today. This is going to be 130962, and this is our Saint Laurent Beige Grande de Powder envelope in the mix flat bag this is a size medium and it will come with its dust bag and its care booklet look at her this is the perfect perfect neutral daily driver bag as far as i'm concerned and this is in a pristine unworn like new condition so let's talk, start with the top handles they are done in the leather. One of them has the Saint Laurent logo. Actually both, sorry, let me flip this. They both have the Saint Laurent logo embossed. So you can wear it doubled up as a shoulder bag, but you also do have the ability to pull it through for crossbody wear. So I'm five foot five for size of reference. This is stunning on the body. Isn't this amazing, Tosh? I love it. It truly feels brand spanking new. It's paired with shiny gold hardware. So you have the YSL hardware front and center, no hairline scratching, no tarnishing, pristine hardware, as well as a chain. Like look at that shine. It's literally shining on camera. This is so good. So the exterior features different types of stitching. We have diagonal, horizontal, and then diamond stitching. Nice, durable, durable, pebbled leather. Kind of YSL's take on Chanel caviar, if you will. It is so like new, you guys. It feels new when you open it. 
nice sturdy top flap here. It's that inner, isn't this so good? As mentioned, it does come with its dust bag. And then the interior is done. Ooh, and you have the paperwork in the little Santa Law envelope. Okay, interior is done in a nice sturdy black fabric lining. Kind of feels like a mix of canvas and nylon. And then you have one inner pocket with the inner logo as well. But along the back of this bag, also this hardware detailing. I love Saint Laurent's detail and branding on all the hardware always. Right, <laughs> they're the best. And then we do have a open pocket to the back of this bag for easy access for your phone, wallet, just stuff you always are putting in and out of your bag. So it's like a 9.99 out of 10 condition level, gorgeous, like new, great everyday bag. So this is available for 2,250 pounds, which is 2,806 USD. And I might just rapid fire through all our YSL because I do have three, oh no, I have four total YSL options today, you guys. Hey, love that for us. <laughs> no worries. Okay. So let's do oh, tram. Good idea. I feel like it's just a bit more durable and more realistic for like actual proper wear out of the bag. So I think that was a super smart decision on your behalf. All right, gonna keep moving. So I think this is the only SLG I have today. So next we are going to do 130422. And this is our Saint Laurent Black Grande de Powder Bill Zip Pouch. So I have two Grande Powder pieces today. This wallet would pair nicely with either one of them. But it's just a nice long pouch slash wallet in the black grained leather. We have horizontal stitching and a little bit of puffiness. Again, a shiny gold YSL front hardware detail. 360. This also is in a pristine, unworn condition. No signs of wear to the exterior. Feels brand new. And you do have a open closet front pocket here. Tram, this could match your bag, just saying. <laughs> and then the gold zip pull, branded, immaculate condition. So upon unzipping. Right, Zelda, I wasn't lying, you guys. I'm telling you, these nails are worth every penny. $45, and they last me longer than like an actual gel or acrylic manicure. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> so inside this pouch, we just have a black canvas lined interior, a little serial code action there, and one inner pocket too. I think this would be really cute to kind of get crafty with how this would function as a wallet. So you can obviously put your cash, maybe your passport, other items in here. And then I would also get a card holder to keep inside of here always. So you can, if you're going out and you need cash, you need items that you normally wouldn't put in your smaller wallet, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and put your smaller SLG inside of here. All right. Yes, no, I literally, I've been telling everyone, Kristen, $45 in Koreatown, do it yourself. They give you the glue and like all the nail care kit to do it at home. But last time I had a pair from this lady, it lasted four weeks. No chips, no damage. I had to take them off myself because I was over it, but they probably would have lasted longer. <laughs> all right, so we will reveal the price on this one, you guys. And this is 405 pounds, which is 505. USD for a very pristine large SLG piece from YSL in the most classic material and color combo imaginable. Yes, it is. Bilas, hi. Good to see you. How are you? Happy Thursday. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> v. Now, I like to keep you guys all in the know when it comes to good Good things like that, you know? Okay. Should we do more YSL or are you guys still feeling YSL? I think we should just go through all the YSL. So we're going to do one more modern piece before I get to kind of a more classic piece. So we're going to our black option now. And 
this is going to be. For, yeah, I was like, I figured for not because I'd be telling you guys everything. I do not get cheap. <laughs> we are going to do 130614. This is the same as the beige Grin de Powder in the mix bag, except this one is in the size small in black with silver hardware. So if you're not a gold hardware girly, do not worry. I thought of me too. The only main difference on the small size is that only one of the straps has the comfort top leather strip and that it's smaller, obviously. <laughs> so here is this one on as a shoulder bag, definitely a smaller look, but still highly, highly functional. Again, this is going to be in a like new unused condition level. It's like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. So it is in black with shiny, shiny. Look at the shine. I can't get over the shine. Silver hardware on this piece. The chain is literally glistening on camera. So pristine condition, as mentioned, we do have another exterior easy in and out pocket on the back. And then let's pull it through to see it crossbody. Oops, let me, there we go. So you can do a long shoulder drop on this or crossbody. I love this size, super cute. Okay, so let's dive inside. Open is like so. This one as well comes with its dust bag. And original tissue paper and the UC Laurent booklet and envelope, all the goods, you guys. And then we have another black interior, would fit any size phone for sure. Phone, wallet, keys, some makeup. Maybe a charger, whatever you need, some perfume even. Nice structured. They just come with their YSL dust bag, Jennifer. No box with them, but they do come with their dust bag and their original envelope with papers inside. So just missing the box. This one, I think the other one too, still has seals on the hardware as well. So they're both unworn. All right, so we'll get the price revealed for this option. And then we'll do our more classic YSL piece next. And then time flew by, so I'm gonna have to amp up the pace on the show. Apologies, Kristen. Okay. So this black option, it's available for 2,105 pounds, which is 2,625 USD. If there's any questions, let me know. But our whole little family of the Grande Powder items are up and currently pinned. Ready to compare and contrast? Okay, pick in up the case. We will go on to this option. So YSL. This is going, oh, it still has its original Saint Laurent retail tag. Amazing. So this is 111450 and it's the Saint Laurent Amaretto Calfskin Betty Messenger Bag. So it's done in like a red wine, almost burgundy, calfskin smooth leather. Same for the strap. But as you can see, this is more of a classic, less trendy, timeless little bag. You can adjust the strap to make it a shorter shoulder bag. Right now, I believe it's at its longest, so it does work as a crossbody messenger at this length. I think this is so cute. So it's that gorgeous, like red wine, burgundy, smooth calfskin, beautiful construction. This one has brushed gold hardware, 360, and the top, super shiny, and the bottom, beautiful. Okay, so to open, you just push this little guy. Opens up like so. It has a red suede interior, a front pocket here. So on the front pocket, you have the gold leaf Saint Laurent logo done on the leather, me too. Such a timeless, beautiful color. And then we have again, original Saint Laurent papers with this piece. Suede lining in that front pocket. This one as well comes with its dust bag. Here's some more Saint Laurent papers with it dust bag and the main interior which is spotless so I would give this one more of like an 8.9 to a 9 out of 10 
lightly pre-loved, not as pristine as others, but really no issues here. And this is a fantastic price. Wow. This is 1,110 pounds, which is 1,384 USD. Okay, again, I'm picking up the pace, so if there's any questions, don't feel bad interrupting me, but I wanna see if I can try to get everything up that's available behind me. Okay, okay. So, yes, I'll do that next, Alma. So I have shown the pink bag before, but there has been a price cut to it. So she is back with a vengeance. She wants to go home. She is cheaper and well below retail. So we're gonna do our little small, speedy crossbody in pink on top leather. I love this one. It's perfect for this time of year. It is 130793 and it's the NM20 size. It just comes with its hair booklet. But it's so cute. It's like a popsicle pinky tone. Comes with its lock and keys and clochette. It is um, Torion leather with the Omprom monogram. Done atop, the sides are just a smooth Torion though. We have super shiny gold hardware accenting. The bottom, the monogram Omprom carries on. Corners are nice. Tiny little bit of wear to the corners, I would say. So this again is gonna be like lightly pre loved. So just a little bit of corner wear. You have the Louis Vuitton logo done in gold up here. Then the unique thing about the size 20 Speedy is that you actually do have a front pocket. So you have the pinstripe canvas lining here, but it's easy in and out pocket. The cute little top handles. And you can wear this crossbody or as a long shoulder. It does have a adjustable, removable strap. I think this is the perfect size of Speedy for crossbody wear though. Love it. Okay, so we'll open her up. Oops. Okay, so here is the interior. Super clean, pink pinstripe all throughout in canvas. And one, oops, sorry, I just kicked you guys. One inner pocket featured as well. All right, so we are ready to reveal the price on this piece. Let me know if there's any other questions. I'm here to help, but I love this. The color is everything. The size is everything. It's just a perfect, cute, unique speedy. So before I had this, I think at 1995 pounds. So it has been slashed to 1890 pounds, which is 2,356 USD. All right, time is of the essence. I'm not even gonna stop it, I'm just gonna keep moving. So, show, 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 show. Okay, I've shown. Oh, look at me. I've shown all the bags. <laughs> so, I'll just close it out with some jewelry. So, up next, we're gonna do 130363. And this is our 14 karat yellow gold and sterling silver. David Yerman 7mm cable bracelet, and it features topaz at the ends. It's in a size small, so like a six, six and a half inch wrist. I'll flip the camera to show y'all. I know we've been loving David Yearman, and I think this is the perfect like summer vacation, beachy vibe from Yearman. Features a classic cable twist band, nice and thick at seven millimeters. You have the topaz stones at the ends, and then that 14 karat yellow gold wrapping around the ends here. So try to get this on real quick. You can kind of bend it, it is moldable, so you can bend it out to fit around the wrist. There we go. So it definitely works for my size wrist. Again, I would recommend this for like maybe a six, five and a half or six inch wrist. It is a size small, but you can kind of mold it, move it to slide it on from the side. All right, so we will reveal the price momentarily for you guys. This is really pretty though. The topaz is super shiny. Really cute. I also love how comfortable these bracelets are, especially if you get it in your right size. It's not gonna like fly around your wrist a lot, which is one of my biggest pet peeves with jewelry. I like it to be snug, to stay in place. So I definitely get that out of this bracelet. All right. 
Ooh, she will be pinned momentarily for you guys. And there we go. Isn't it stunning? Total tropical escape vibes. So she is available for 527 pounds, which is 657 USD. Remember the items purchased today, you guys, will ship out tomorrow morning, possibly today, but 100% tomorrow morning at the latest from New York City. Yeah, the blues, everything. And your customs and duties are covered if you are international. All right, so we have less than 10 minutes. I do want to give you a recap. So we're going to do our grand finale piece. Up next is 122313. Super cute, accessible Chanel rings. If you're falling on a budget or you just want to get something cute and giftable without breaking the bank, I think this is a fantastic option. So again, 122313, and this is our gold tone Chanel CC and black enamel camellia flower ring set. This will come with its box, so totally giftable, you guys. But for the price of one, you are receiving two mix and match Chanel rings. So let's start with this first one. It features a kind of braided, twisted, brushed gold hardware band. This one has the enamel layered black camellia flower. Then the other one has the same type of band, but it features the protruding CC. So. Let me know if the price is in the description, or the price, oh my gosh, the size. Again, I'm going to guess like a US size, maybe six, six and a half, possibly a seven. But you can stack them, you can wear them on different fingers to have like the same but different look. Size six, thank you. So you can play around with these or you can gift one to like your bestie and do a little Chanel ring, best friend moment. Would be super, super cute. But this is going to be a fantastic price for you guys. Condition is great. There's no signs of wear. And again, it will come with its box. So we'll get this pinned momentarily and the price will go up. And then I would love to know if you guys have any recap requests coming up next. I have one more item I can show, but I do want to prioritize recaps for you guys. If there's anything else I can help to show you. So those are our rings. so cute look at that price so we're looking at like basically 220 dollars for each one but you're getting two and the price is 440 pounds which is 548 usd for two chanel rings all right <laughs> Let me know, you guys. I am happy, happy, happy to accommodate any recap requests that you may have. Please let me know. We have a few more minutes together, and then I believe Sabrina is on right after. So take a look through the handbag icon. Let me know. Shout out anything if I can help show you exactly, Kristen. <laughs> exactly what Kristen said. So I'm keeping my eyes out for requests, you guys. Um, and then also too, if we are feeling the vibes for deals today, Grace and myself will be back at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another live show. We have over 40 units in that next show and we are doing a $1,500 and under show for you guys. So if you're after a deal, make sure to join us back here at 3 p.m. EST. Chris and I am going to squeeze in one more item since there are no requests, it seems. So we're going to do PXL2369. And this is going to be our Louis Vuitton Precious Metals Necklace. This is a super special piece that is actually quite rare. You can wear this as a necklace or you could also use this as a bag chain extender. But it features a floral motif. Let me untwist that. There we go. Slightly twisted. There we go. Why can't I figure this out? <laughs> there we go. So we have a Louis Vuitton kind of ch coin charm with a flower detail. Then we have these florals done in um, 
gemstones there's enamel in orange and brown and we have green stones as well and a chunky 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 gold chain necklace it is adjustable but i love the chunk factor of this piece it's incredible it does feature a little lv encased in a circle at the end of the chain i will measure this real quick and then i'll show you what it would look like as a necklace but also as a chain extender. So our length here will be, oops, by the way, at its longest, 17 inches, and at its shortest, 14. So 14 to 16 inch length for the necklace. Here it is on, so you could do it up as a choker or at its longest, be a little lower. I love that the charm is off-centered and that the flowers are really the focal point here. But as mentioned, let's see here, I can make this work. to experiment. <laughs> oh, I think I need a shorter or a smaller class. But if you have a class that is smaller than that thick one, you could add this to a chain. You could use this large loop at the end to attach the bag strap to, and then attach the other end like so, and then give yourself a few, probably like an extra foot of length to a bag chain so definitely get creative play around with her but it is absolutely stunning so and the price is fantastic for a really special limited edition louis vuitton necklace piece as well it's available for 685 usd which is 550 pounds i'm just looking at the date code and i believe it's from 2014. so there's one last look you guys we have two minutes left together Definitely, if you're doing anything, swoop it up right now so that your customs and duties will be covered. And let me know if there's a last minute recap request that I can accommodate you guys. Shout it out, let me know, because I have to hop on or hop off in two minutes. And then Sabrina will be on here with you all. So final final call. And Kristen, thank you so much for hopping on and moderating. Sorry about that rocky start. But yes, final call you guys. Let me know. Please join us back here at 3 p.m. I'll give it like a minute to see if any recap requests come through. I will take my phone off the stand and kind of show you guys. Sprouse Keepall, jewelry pieces, Louis Vuitton, Saint Laurent, the Dior book tote that has my whole heart, this giant Celine deal, our little YSL wallet thank you kristen and our dior necklace our tiffany ring and our unbranded ring as well so items are up on the website you guys feel free to email me if you have any questions but we will be back at 3 p.m est for another show out of new york city with you guys so thank you so much and i'll see you a little later bye guys oh sorry kit no worries um Yes, I can bring those in the next slide for you. The Chanel ones, correct? Just confirm for me, it's the Chanel's. And I could tell you real quick as well too. There's size US 6. And, let's see. Do, 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 do. So they're US 6. I don't know if the year is with them. But I will check. I don't have information on the year, unfortunately. Let me see if there's a visible stamping. But they are quite small. So. Oh, it's so tiny. It's on there, but it, it's on the CC and it's like micro. It looks, I'll have to confirm. 
I'm like 80% sure that that says 2004. Oh, this one has it more visible. Hold on. I will hop off momentarily. Apologies, Sabrina. Just want to get this. Yeah, it does look like 2004 to me, but 2004, I'll flip the camera one last time for five seconds and then I do have to go. It's supposed to have more of like an antique look, like it's not a shiny gold ring by any means, but okay, kid, no worries. I'm back and make sure to stick around for Sabrina. She'll be on right now, you guys. So see you back here at 3 p.m. as well and have a great evening. Bye.